All right. So for the first time ever, we're going to do What Are They Mad About Now live. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to put a poll in the chat for each one. We'll give it a little bit of time. Everyone votes. And then I'll give you the answer. So presented for the first time ever, What Are They Mad About Now? Is it Roe v. Wade edition? I'm going to show you a picture of a crazy person. Then I'm going to give you three options. And you will have to decide what this person is so mad about. And just for, uh, you know, to warn you about everything that's coming up, this is the only person that is even slightly decent looking. (laughs) Not like that's a surprise, though. (laughs) Well, Florida's at it again. This time they're trying to pass a bill that will not allow teachers to talk about anything related to the LGBTQ plus community. They can't talk about the history. They can't talk about sexual identity. They can't help the students out when they're going through something. If they bring it up and a parent finds out the parent has the right to sue the teacher and the school. (laughs) I don't think I need to explain to you how disgusting this proposed bill is. Actually, I would like you to explain it. Yes. This is the fact that most students are not safe in their own homes if they do not align with their parents' beliefs. And schools are usually the only safe place that these students can talk to somebody and find wow, healing really? and find acceptance. Wow. So naturally, upon finding out about this proposed bill, I have been fucking livid. And then it got me thinking, why the hell are people who know nothing about the LGBTQ plus community <laughs> allowed to vote on our basic human rights? Oh, it's, it's the These uh, people are voting against you know, us. No because uterus, no opinion because argument. They don't just know anything for LGBTQ. About us because to them, we are a them. We are not an us. We are not a human race that's just made up of people that are different than each other. We are separate Woman, and divided what are because you that on is what about? they are taught. Holy they are crap. taught that they are supreme, that they are better, that they are the right way to live their life. And we are these like different beings and different people. And they're scared of us, quite frankly. And I know this <laughs> because that is how I was raised as an evangelical oh, okay. Christian. It was very much us and them. And us were the correct people, and them were the wrong people. Let's pray for them. Let's vote against them. Let's take away their rights. I think right. you so may be looking really back on that time so of your life with hell. a slightly distorted then lens. Then I thought, can you just imagine oh, it keeps going. how different this country would be if people would talk to somebody different than them? It's that wow, simple. that's deep. If that the people a... that you surround man, did she come yourself up with, that with by herself? look like you act like you, share the same beliefs as you, have the same opinions as you, then you are never going to learn anything. You are never going to grow. You are never going to educate yourself and learn how to use critical thinking skills. This is why churches are so dangerous because they just control people and they keep them in these like-minded little bubbles so nobody questions anything. So listen to what I have to say very carefully. Oh yeah, If you are a straight cis person you are no longer allowed to have an opinion about anyone in the lgbtq plus community especially well, you don't, if you you're not allowed to have an opinion on my opinion so to talk to us suck it. or have a conversation with someone in the community and you are not allowed to have an opinion on racism if you're white and you haven't oh taken the time God, to talk to somebody woman. in the bipoc i thought this was about don't say Owens gay does not count you are not allowed Candace to have an Owens opinion on refugees count. if you have not taken the time to meet people who either work with refugees or are refugees. Because you try to form an opinion based on something you haven't even taken the time to learn about, you end God, up voting based on fear. you sound like the one who hasn't taken the time to, to learn about what you have an opinion on. Rights. Yeah, a basic human rights. Holy hell, hell shut up, up woman. Good Lord. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number two. Homophobia, climate change, or Roe v. Wade? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Whoop. Hmm. Hey, you just killed a tree. What? No, I just accidentally dropped a seed on the ground, so I picked it up. Oh yeah, a seed that could have become a tree? So what's your rationale, tree murderer? I picked it up like immediately after I dropped it. 
Besides, I don't want a tree there. If it well, grows, these people the roots are, so are going to ruin my house's this. foundation. <laughs> oh, well, maybe your house's foundation deserves to be ruined if you're just throwing seeds around. Besides, this wouldn't even be happening if you weren't gardening in the first place. But, but I like gardening. Gardening's fun. Besides, if you really care that much, the guy that gave me the seed is handing them out by, like, the truckload. Oh, well, I couldn't care less where you got the seed. Really? This is nope. so stupid. I only Holy care shit. that you dropped it in your yard. Yeah, exactly. It's my yard. What? What are you doing in my yard anyway? Who are you? Oh, I'm Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito. Man, talk about a gotcha. Man, she freaking owned those pro-lifers. <laughs> All right. The fat man himself. I mean, I don't know who he really is, but boy, is he fat. Fat shaming, racism, or Roe v. Wade? Ooh, 45%. Roe v. Wade. I don't think the court fully understands what is going to happen to this country. I think Sotomayor talked about it recently. But the entire credibility of the court is just going to go what straight down. with that it, guy's mouth? Ain't it's nothing like going to survive after this. You think protesting is going to happen? Motherfucker, I'm not going to pay my fucking taxes. Why the fuck should I? Y'all have done nothing to protect like us and our women. Based opinion? What is wrong with you? People with uteruses are not getting the protection they deserve. Oh, he caught himself there. He and the rights be... that they deserve. I don't fuck. Why would I pay any taxes? Because the only thing that I'm seeing is that my tax dollars going to is a motherfucking democratic system that's not being democratic. Ashley Dude, said it perfectly in her TikTok. Fight, it's brother. incredibly I mean, hypocritical. Geez. And it's just going to create a I've fucking been ripple this for effect. How long? <laughs> like, what's next? The stupid motherfucker. <laughs> Accidentally based fat guy. <laughs> All right. That was the big man. Here's the big lady. Thin splaining, transphobia, or Roe v. Wade? Thin Splaining comes out number one with 75% of the vote. Let's see what it is. I would like to talk very quick about something that annoys me, and I'm going to call it Thin Splaining. I just kind of, it's the idea that pe fat people, like, have no idea how to be thin, and that's why we're fat. <laughs> so people, or like... That we just don't understand health, and that's why we are the way that we are. So they want to add their tips, saying that it's not appropriate to talk to your loved ones about their body or their weight gain or loss. And some people are like, what if I want to talk to my partner about it because health risks run in their family? It's their family. Who told you about the health risks? Do you think they don't know? Why do you uh, need to talk to them about it? I guarantee you this is one of those said, fat women who think she's got weight, big boobs, office, but, and but so she's many really just fat. Say, you know what I mean? Unless you have anesthesia. <laughs> unless you're getting she a prescription for medication. Big boobs all the time, unless it's really, this. Unless it's that. And I'm like, fat people know when it's medically necessary. Stop. I made a video saying that there are no diseases exclusive to fat people, which there are absolutely not. And people want to say, um, it can actually be a risk factor for other diseases like we don't already know. People have literally been saying this shit to me attention. since I was I mean, seven years old. I know. I don't need your helpful input. But sometimes people are just going to keep saying it until it sticks, you know? I mean, clearly... You have not heeded the advice. <laughs> and look at this beautiful man. God, this might be one of the ugliest people I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> All right. So the options are toxic masculinity, colonialism, or Roe v. Wade. Oh, hey, thanks, Gina. Appreciate it. How you doing? God, this guy is a living meme. <laughs> Look at him, man. Someone needs to make a soy jack out of this guy. <laughs> All right, looks like tox toxic masculinity is going to be the, the crowd favorite. 50%. Any last-minute voters? Any Anybody want to drop a few ballots in at the last minute? Anyone have a cooler full of votes somewhere? Oh, 
All right. Toxic masculinity it is. Votes are locked in. Let's see what's going on. Supreme Court wants to send the question of abortion back to the states and let them decide. To start, this is an egregiously wrong decision. <laughs> His voice sounds exactly like he thought it would. the same reason that we let states decide whether or not slavery should still exist, as we did in this country for many years. And that's because equality is guaranteed by our Constitution. It's not something people should have to ask for. It's not something people should have to fight for. And it shouldn't be at people's discretion whether or not women have the right to be equal to men. And yes, this is about equality. Because despite the fact that women and men engage this guy in the thinks exact he's really same smart. To create a baby, <laughs> women are the only ones who could ever be subject to a broad range of health risks and often detrimental economic consequences that a man could never experience. For example, an increased risk of developing lifelong diabetes, the risk of dying during childbirth, <laughs> the loss of career opportunities because their employers pass over them as they notice their stomach growing, and a proven loss of income for every child they have, including a significant loss in lifetime earnings compared to men if they are forced to have their first child before the age of 31. Now, despite having engaged in the exact same behavior to create the pregnancy, men cannot be subject to these health risks and adverse economic consequences. And the second you preclude a woman from deciding if she wants to accept those risks and any wow. of them come to pass, I, I you have disadvantaged her because of her sex. This guy. Because had she been born a man, she would have never been subject to any of those. Now, since I don't he think anyone here meme. is suggesting that in order to maintain equality among the, the sexes, <laughs> that we execute the father if a mother dies during a childbirth she didn't want to go through with, the only real way to what? make women as equally in control of their lives as men is to give them the same ability that allows men to control their lives. The ability to not be pregnant at any given moment or ever become what? pregnant if they so choose. Otherwise, you force us Dude. to live in a country where being born a woman leaves you less in control of your own life than had you been born a man. And that is not equality. Jeez. And yes, that's right. The next one is the rebel English teacher. You know, I had to bring her in for the first. What are they mad about now? All right, so the options are her own family, Christians, or Roe v. Wade. And Christians is taking the lead at 57%. Oh, 60%. If you've seen my videos on her, you know it could be any of these. <laughs> she is nuts. Looks like Christians it is. With 67% of the vote. All right, let's see what's going on. So I've been pulling away from my family and some of my friends who are conservative because I feel so passionately about what's going on that it just makes me want to punch people in the face. And that is frowned upon in civilized society. I'm not ready to permanently break relationships, but I can get very heated. So I talked to my uh, gateway friend because I can keep from wanting smart, to scream you know? at her because she is such a good friend to me. I told her that I needed to talk about abortion because we could both use some perspective. She could use some facts and logic oh, and I could oh. use practicing talking to a conservative without wanting to Two punch them. So I started telling her about how states are using this to try and get rid of contraception, <laughs> making no exceptions for rape, incest, or life of the mother. Yeah, I no did get her to that, agree so to all of it, you. except for choice abortion should still be legal. But whenever I was talking to her about how I am legitimately scared that this Roe v. Wade rabbit hole is going to lead us directly to the Handmaid's Tale. Oh, and her response gave tale. me all Handmaid's kinds of clarity. Tale. She said, yeah, I'm scared too, but I'm mostly scared because everything that's happened in the world was prophesied in the Bible as the end times. So this oh, isn't going to affect us trick. too much longer because <laughs> the rapture is going to happen and they're all going to be taken to heaven which is just absurd and ridiculous, but I told her that I would even be willing to read a book about it just so I can understand oh what the my, fuck is going on in their minds. But it? it just makes so wow. much sense. They don't give a fuck about what's happening because it's not going to affect them very soon when they're in heaven. You can't argue <laughs> with people like that. They have no motivation. Religion is so dangerous. You can what? justify anything when you think it's all going to be over soon. We're fucking doomed. <laughs> Jesus. The options are white people rapping. Oh, it said there was an error. Well, I go through. Oh, it won't let me ask this question. <laughs> 
What? I don't understand. YouTube doesn't like these, uh... <laughs> okay. Maybe if I... What if I abbreviate it? Yeah. That's hilarious. I wonder what it is that it doesn't like. Oh, you can't say white people in, in an option, but okay. So white people rapping, white people with dreads, or Roe v. Wade. I can't believe that. YouTube won't let me type in white people. <laughs> Wow. We got white people with dreads at 75%. All right, let's see what we got. Y'all don't know AAVE. If you, non black people, y'all don't know AAVE. And let me explain to you why. A -A -V -E. Anytime people get on this app and they use a sound at which a black person is using AAVE, they use a song at which a black person is rapping in AAVE, it is very evident at how unnatural y'all look when you try to fix your lips to say some shit that y'all <laughs> know y'all shouldn't be saying. I'm not even talking about the. I'm talking about just the vernacular, the phrasing, the. This the, woman's the, TikTok the way it rolls was painful tongue, to look at, man. Y'all don't understand that. Y'all don't understand the phrases enough to be able to even say them with your chest the way that black people can because we know what the fuck that shit means. How can like, one person so be so stupid? That y'all just think are like I say that a lot on this Y'all think are taglines for your Instagram post. No, that shit came from somewhere. We made it out of something. And y'all don't understand it enough to be able to speak it with your chest. So just do understand. Please do, if you understand anything, understand this. Y'all don't look right when you do it. You look like you're struggling. Even when you are sitting up here on a sound and you're doing a sound to TikTok and you're trying to... Whatever the fuck y'all be doing, I don't know. You look How unnatural when y'all try to... watch this stuff back after they film it? You look unnatural. Because they have to edit it. If you're mad about it, be mad about it. And think that they sounded right. smart. You're not going to raise mine. However. Or that they made a it's point. It's not gatekeeping <laughs> when something simply doesn't belong to other people. <laughs> like, when you really want to date this no, shit No, that's, that's gatekeeping. Like, it doesn't belong to y'all. And we can tell it doesn't belong to y'all. Because uh, hey, y'all don't brother. have it in you to actually be able to spit it up the way that it needs to be put out. It's fine. Y'all don't got it. But the wild thing is that a lot of people feel so entitled to blackness. A lot of people feel like <laughs> feel entitled the to blackness. existence <laughs> of slavery continues to this day in the way that y'all think y'all can step over us and what? take ownership of our things. And that Wait, we just have to sit here and watch rapping it. And then when to we a say something about it, y'all start to get to playing massive is slavery and wanting to today? act all weird. Y'all don't own us. Nothing we create belongs to you. But that's the energy you're giving every time you think that this is something that you can just appropriate. That's Especially the energy. when it's like it don't even look right coming out your mouth. Like, why do y'all do this to yourselves is my question. Why do y'all get on here and embarrass yourselves is my question. That was my question to you answer. first, actually. Wow. Because I'm really fucking tired of it. Specifically and especially for... Um, Y'all don't understand this because y'all have never had somebody come in and try to actually cut your native tongue out from under you. <laughs> Not only were black Africans who got shipped over here during the, the triangular trade, since we got to go back to fucking third grade social studies. Not only were they stripped of their language, as we developed AAVE, we have black people in America to this day have been stripped of that, have been criminalized for that. So y'all don't get it. I speak in AAVE because it's comfortable for me, but also yeah, because so what's comfortable for me is often an active resistance. Y'all do it because you think vernacular it's cute. English. We're not the same. Y'all don't know AAVE. Oh, God, she's still going. Oh, no, it started over again. Oh, hey, I forgot to edit the end of the video when I recorded it. <laughs> yeah, African-American vernacular e English. You're not allowed to say, uh, well, Ebonics anymore because I guess that that's racist now to say Ebonics. Uh African-American vernacular English. Okay, next one. Police brutality, Republicans, or Roe v. Wade?
73% say Republicans. All right, it looks like that's it. Let's see if you guessed right. The absolute worst shit about the people fighting to overturn Roe v. Wade is that no matter what they do, they're always going to have access to abortion if they want or need it. I'm sorry, what? Even before Roe v. Wade, it's always been safer and more accessible for rich people to get abortions. And I feel like similar to any other form of health care, they're basically saying, yeah, you deserve it as long as you are rich and white. Anyone else? Oh, no. Nah. Like, oh, okay. not accessible. Absolutely what about a rich not. black person? It's cool when we have autonomy over our or bodies, just but like, who can get if you don't have money, not that expensive. <laughs> that's really not for you. This has been the first ever live. What are they mad about now? I think it went pretty well, actually. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs>